But your, uh, your support in Afghanistan is significant. We, uh, I think we'll have good talks today about uh, EDI, about uh, our readiness initiatives, and I think uh, our time here at the Pentagon will be uh, well spent, and I look forward to working with you in NATO. Please. If it is highly important that we keep Alliance alive, that we are uh, serious about security and defense, and that we are uh, keeping, uh, let's say, our plans and everything together because in this challenging world, uh, no country alone can um, prosper without a good cooperation. So from that perspective, we are thankful for your support, also military support, uh, to our region, to our country, and we are ready to stand uh, shoulder by shoulder with you. It's important that Iran understand that an attack on Americans or its interests will be met with an appropriate response. We're in the Middle East to defeat terrorism, fight and build security. The clandestine insurgencies are really what we're there to address. But we will protect ourselves, and that's, that's, that's very important. On North Korea, nothing has changed in the sense of we're pursuing full denuclearization of the peninsula, and that's being pursued diplomatically. From a military standpoint, our operations, our posture will not change. We'll focus on, on our readiness, and I think what's been reported in terms of missiles and rockets is accurate. I won't be reprogramming any more money for the border wall. Uh, there was a billion and a half dollars that was reprogrammed. Some of it did come from money we were uh, underrunning or saving or whatever you know, terminology you want to use from Afghanistan. The, uh, uh, but we have you know, very smart people here in the department and we found ways to do this without having any impact on readiness. So I you didn't ask me about the border. I'll ask about it.